What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be doing another hair product review. I haven't done one in a while, so I just feel like I got to do it justice and do another one. So today I'm going to be doing actually a collab product between the Pomp and Arcadian. It is called the Black Bean Grocery um, Superior Pomade. This is what the packaging looks like. I actually have never used it, so it's kind of my first impression and review at the same time. Just kind of give you the rundown. And the reason why I'm doing it like this, usually I don't do it. Usually I test the product out first for like a week or something and then I do a review, but I kept thinking about this and because it's a collab product, it is actually a little bit more difficult to get and it's a little bit more pricier as a collab product. So what I'm gonna actually do is I'm gonna do a giveaway. I'm actually gonna just test this out, give you my initial thoughts and review on it. And then I'm gonna actually just give it away to one of my subscribers because I just, I don't know, I just feel like I know it's expensive to get sometimes and some of y'all should, or one of y'all should be able to try it out and just, you know, see how these products all work. So. If this is something that you're interested in, then you're definitely gonna to wanna to stick around, but we're gonna get started here in three, two, one. Oh, I messed up. <laughs> All right, y'all, so we're gonna get started right away. So initially, when you look at this packaging, um, it kind of gives it like an Asian like, like vibe to it, almost like a, like a grocery product, hence black bean grocery. It, it is just different um, in terms of branding. I've never seen anything branded like this before. Maybe it's just like the concept that they were going through. But uh, personally, like, I just don't think it's a solid branding just because I understand the concept and where they were trying to take it. But honestly, the branding is just not my favorite. I mean, I, I honestly like prefer something like just simple like this than having like almost like too much branding, like I, I just think like this has a little bit too much branding where the fact where the consumer just kind of gets confused on what it is. Um, but that's just my personal opinion. Um, anyway, so it is, it's got like an Asian vibe to it. I don't know, you know, what type of Asian vibe it is. I don't want to like make any assumptions, but it, is, it has like an Asian vibe to it. It's called Superior Pomade. And on here it says balanced hole with a neutral matte finish. So um, that's what I'm kind of expecting. Ingredients, the first ingredient is water. Um, it's got some wax in here, kaolin. So I'm 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 guessing it's gonna you know function pretty similar to clay pomade just because clay pomade, and I mean it comes in the same drawer. It looks pretty similar, if not a little more firm. Just like initial like when I look at it, but it's made by Arc Arcadian. So you know the 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 foundation and the the foundation and structure of this product will probably be some type of uh, Arcadian influence. So it, it's gonna be probably pretty similar to some of their products they've already created. Um, that's just my initial thought. I haven't tried it yet. So, um, yeah, I like the white top. I think it really complements the red. But overall, the packaging, it's not my favorite. It does come in like a similar, you know, Arcadian packaging with the glass jar. So, and it is, uh, I believe, oh, this is actually six ounces. So, Arcadian says four. This is six. But it also comes with a heftier price tag. It's actually 28 bucks from the Black Bean, uh, Black Bean Grocery Store. I'll leave a link below if you want to check it out. It's 28 bucks versus like a clay pomade, which is like 16.95. So right there, I just think it's it might be kind of overpriced personally because if you can get a four ounce jar for 16.95 for two more ounces, I mean if you do the math, it should be roughly 24 bucks maybe. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I'm not gonna get all like uh, you know mathy about it, but. The scent is like, uh, it almost smells like a salon product, just really dumbed down. Uh, it, it's got that like uh, like fresh kind of scent that a salon product has, but it's like really light. So it's not like anything overwhelming like a salon product, but it has like a light scent. And I actually kind of enjoy it. But you can see like, this is like, it was poured. I have, actually have not even scooped anything out of it. Um, and the reason being is because I want one of you guys to have this, so. I'm gonna just you know test it out, give you my opinion, and we'll see you know where that goes. So I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and, and scoop it out. You can kind of see it's it's actually pretty easy. It kind of, like I said, it reminds me of you know clay pomade. It is, and uh, yeah, it just feels like it. It feels like a more clay, a little bit maybe a little bit more thicker. Yeah, like a, like a super soft clay. Um, it breaks down super softly, and I already went ahead and blow dried my hair on the on this. It actually says to uh, apply to clean, dry, and or towel dried. Hair. And so what I did is I actually blow dried my hair in the opposite direction. Usually I wear it from left to right, but I blow dry from right to left because it kind of gives it already, you can already tell like it gives it a little bit extra volume. 
and then I'll style back the other way and it'll, it'll give it like some natural volume without any using any extra product. So I'm gonna go ahead and rub it in. And uh, like always, I always start from the back, work my way front, that way it doesn't add too much product in the front. And uh, yeah, uh, also don't look at yourself when you style just because then you'll like probably mess it up. Just to get the product fully in your hair and then sculpt, work, worry about sculpting after. Um, so initially when you put it through, it's really easy to go through. There's no tug, or, tug and pull at all. It's fairly easy. And when, the more I rub it in, I kind of get that the scent. You can actually smell it. It smells pretty clean and fresh, like I said before, but it's super easy to put in. There's no tug and pull. Let's see. Uh, I think it's almost, I think it's like, it's all in now. So I'm gonna go ahead and like start styling right now. And let's see how it ends up. So right off the bat, I usually always finger comb because I just think it gives it the most natural look. Using a comb kind of gives it almost like the unnatural look. I mean, unless you're going for a slick back, then I understand. But like, if you start combing and stuff, I just think like like this, like it kind of gives it like a little bit unstructured. See how it's like some hair like standing up and stuff. Like this is my, like this is my daily haircut. Unless I go to something like formal, then I like kind of like, tighten it up a little bit but usually I wear it pretty loosely because it looks like bed head but like it's not bed head because I actually put time into it but it looks like I didn't put time into it so like something like this so initially like right off the bat I noticed like the way um, this goes through is really easy and soft just kind of like clay pomade and actually when I finger comb it's actually a little easier to finger comb than uh, clay pomade which is weird um, finger combing clay pomade is actually pretty easily but this is like, first, I, I feel like it's a little easier. And uh, like you can tell, like it's still got some bounce to it. Like, I don't think it's like super firm hold. It's something that's, it's pretty light actually. It's like a medium hold, I would say, but it's like you can easily throughout the day, like re-sculpt it. And it doesn't feel like, it really doesn't feel like there's any product in my hair at all. And like, if I do a close up, you can see the texture. I hope you can see the texture. Um, it is a matte finish. Um, I think if you look closely, it, do, it might look like a little bit of shine. Um, that's because maybe uh, I didn't get all the water out initially uh, when I when I blow dried. Obviously, you know you can only get it so dry. So I got it as dry as I could. Um, there was probably like a little bit of water left. I could feel it when I ran my hand through it. But overall, like I actually really enjoy this product. It's like pretty surprising. It works really nicely. I was not expecting it to be like. I don't, actually, I don't know what I was expecting. It it looks good. It's, yeah. I actually like it. It's weird. Yeah. So, honestly, Arcadian and the pomp, I like, huge shout out to the product. The product works. I really like it, actually. Like, because the clay pomade, sometimes I put too much in there, and then it ends up being a little stronger hold than I want. But that's only good on certain occasions. But usually I like a, you know, like kind of loose but high textured and matte look. And this is kind of like, it kind of like checks all those boxes. I kind of like it. The only thing I don't like is a $28 price tag. If this was priced like more reasonably, like maybe fill this in a four ounce jar and then like sell it for the same price as clay pomade, then I say it's like worth it. But like six ounces for 28 bucks is like kind of bananas. And I don't even know the shipping. It's probably with shipping, it's probably over, over 30 bucks. So, I mean, the pricing, uh, probably that's one of the biggest negatives. The... The packaging, I guess because like the, the Palm started his own company called Black Bean Grocery and that, that's like the whole theme. So if it, to match the theme, I guess it makes sense. But personally, as a consumer, it's not one of my most like eye candy products to have on my countertop. I think the product works well. I think if you brand it a little differently, it could do a lot better. But yeah, I mean... Overall, I think it does pretty good. It gives a good texture. Um, it's like kind of like a looser, medium-ish type hold. Um, goes in pretty easily, breaks down pretty easily, and smells like a salon product, but like really, really dumped down, like super, super light scent. Um, yeah, I think I covered everything with this pro uh, review. Uh, by the way, we hit 250 subs. I just, I, I know it's like I hit like these small milestones and I always shout them out, but I'm always going to shout them out because it's like mad crazy and mad, mad awesome that like a lot of you guys are like subscribing. It's, it's, it's crazy. And I know it's not even a lot, but it, it just feels pretty cool. And it's not about the numbers to me. So 
I appreciate all you guys just like sticking around. And so I'm gonna do a giveaway. giveaway. Uh, like I said in the beginning, once I hit 300 subscribers, I'm gonna give a giveaway. I'm um, actually three products, one for every hundred that I hit. So I'm actually gonna give this away, even though I really like it. I'm gonna give it away because I want one of you guys to try it out too, um, and let me know your feedback. I'm gonna give away this product. I'm gonna give away the Arcadian. Um, this is another collab product that Arcadian just did. Um, I really like this. I did a review on it. It's called the Fiber Cream. You can check it out on my channel. I did a review on this as well. And this is actually a sample. So I'm going to actually give this one away too for those two. And then actually, so I, I was supposed to give this away um, to someone on that won the giveaway, but they never hit me up. So uh, I might just give it away to someone else. I mean, I, I waited like several weeks and no one hit me up. So I'm actually going to give this away. I have not used it at all since I did the review and tested it out. So I'm actually going to give away these three products on my channel once I hit 300. So starting now until until I hit 300, um, you guys are all welcome to enter. So to enter, you're gonna have to be subscribed and then just follow me on Instagram. And Instagram, DM me your YouTube channel um, name and that way I'll enter you that way. So last time I did like commenting and stuff, but I think it's just kind of more difficult to do all those three steps. So just make sure you're subscribed. Um, leave a comment and like the video, that's optional. Um, it just helps support the channel to be honest. Um, it just with the optimization and stuff, but I mean, it's not mandatory if you don't like it or comment, it's just, you know, it's nice to have, um, just show love and stuff. And then, uh, follow me on Instagram and then DM me your YouTube channel. So that way I can like kind of match everything up properly. Uh, on my Instagram, I do, you know, I kind of upload pictures like a normal person. Like it's nothing like crazy, but, uh, usually on my stories, I do like any type of like motivation and stuff for people that, you know, sometimes it's, sometimes you just need to kick in the ass and just to get going and, and just surrounding yourself with positivity, positivity and optimism, it can go a long way in like influencing you and creating a better mindset around things, just daily life, or maybe you're trying to get a promotion or whatever it may be. It's always good to surround yourself with positivity and optimism. So I kind of focus on that, try to give back to people and, you know, try to keep, keep people from going to a negative path and uh, thinking really pessimistic about life because life is really a blessing. And I don't think people will put that in perspective because we have so much going on in the world that it, like, it, it just gets blurred when you break it down to the basics. Um, life's, a, life's a blessing because, I mean, we're living. It's crazy. So anyways, I've been rambling on for a while. I appreciate you guys sticking around to the end. Um, like I said, doing the giveaway. I hope you guys enjoy this. If you have any questions about the product at all, leave a comment and I'll try to answer them. I will answer it. What am I talking about? Uh, leave a comment. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you like the video. If you And if you want to join the contest, make sure you're subscribed and DM me on Instagram and follow me on Instagram with your YouTube, uh, YouTube channel name. So, yeah. I appreciate you guys sticking around. Love you all so much. Uh, we're going to continue to grow the channel. I know it's slowly, but it is what it is. And I, you know, honestly, I'm not really expecting any much out of, out of this channel. I'm just trying to give you guys an authentic and raw experience um, through my channel because I don't know. I don't really, I'm just giving you, this is authentic. And I know if you guys want to see like a, you know, a formal like review, then you, you know, there's other YouTubers out there and it's mad, mad respect to all of them and, and stuff. But uh, this is just the way I do it. And so if you guys fuck with it, then definitely subscribe. But anyways, I've been rambling. See you guys in the next one. Love y'all. Peace.